So let me know a little bit about yourself, man. Um, first off, my name is Dixon Rivers, aka Dill. And really, I'm just a creative. Um, since I was young, you know, playing with Legos, then that turned into drawing and doodling. To then when I got into fashion, now doing this. Okay. So when would you say you first discovered your interest in, in fashion as a whole? My interest in fashion came around sophomore year of high school, around 2015-2016. Started discovering brands. Um, I remember the first couple of brands I saw was like Vape Supreme, and then as I dove deeper, you know, just finding stuff, K Subi, Number Nine, all that type of stuff. Okay. Uh, so when did you make your first shirt? When did you start um, doing that? First shirt I probably made was 2017. Yeah, it was. It was actually for the first video we ever shot for Tommy Khan, and that's when I, before I even produced it to sell, I produced it for the videos. Yeah. Okay. So what uh, what does TK mean for the audience, and more specifically, what does it mean to you? Uh, Tommy Khan is an acronym. It stands for Thankful of My Image knocking all haters near and basically i just wanted everybody to feel like you know you're invincible basically when you wear my stuff like you feel like yeah the image that you portray when you wear my clothing is an image of greatness you know you're knocking every hater near you you're thankful for what you when you look in the mirror you're thankful for what you see nice 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 who would you say are your influences in fashion and people you look to? Um, in the beginning, it was a lot of Virgil Abloh, a lot of Jerry Lorenzo as like top three, some Kanye in there. And then now, lately, the people who inspire me the most is the people that's like my age from my city, like some brands like Farm Bridges, um, Empty Spaces. It's just a lot of people from my city right now just really doing their thing, play for keeps, that I just like, they really inspire me to really just want to keep going with my stuff. You know, seeing other people my age from where I'm from is always inspiring. Yeah, shout out to Charlotte. Um, How big of a role does clothing play just in your everyday life? Well, I mean, as big as a role as it plays for anybody. I think you gotta wear some clothes. Uh, can't walk outside naked. So I feel like you just always wanna look good. You know, you want you wanna portray an image that when people see you, they think highly of you. So I always take that in the heart. Like when I go out in public, I don't want nobody, I don't wanna be looking like a bum, people to see me like a bum. I dress nice cause I feel nice, I am nice. Cool dude, you know? So aside from uh, from the fashion talk, real quick, uh, let me just ask you this: Who do you feel? Uh, I guess who you feel inspires you outside of fashion? Like, where do you get your work ethic from? Like, what do you what do you look to as as the image of, of somebody you want to uh, model your life after? You know, really, my mom. Out of everything, that's the person. You know, I tell her all the time, like I never seen I never seen her work for anybody ever in her life. She's always had her own business. And just seeing that growing up in that and seeing how much work she puts in and then that is not only for herself, it's for everybody around her. How she uplifts and she's known in the community. And then on the flip side, my father too, you know, he's one of the hardest working people I know really. You know, he'll go do jobs for like all day, won't stop till he finish. And you know, it's just always, both of them have just instilled great greatness in me. Beautiful. Um, are you in school right now? Yeah, full-time student. Um, currently at Central Piedmont, transferring to UNCC next semester in 2021. Okay, and what is your, what's your major? Um, my major is psychology. Okay. Right now. Okay. Yep. What do you hope to do with that? Um, you know, I just always like psychology. Wanted to dive into the human mind, really. 
to like be able to know how people think, how people act in certain situations. It's always interesting me. Being able to read people and all that is something I I love to do. And then on the on the other side of that, I feel like it's a lot of help I can do, you know, mental health issues in the community and all that. Like so eventually, you know, I wanna kinda open up like a own um, clinic, be able to help out with the mental health issues in our community. So what do you want to come out of TK? Like, where do you hope to see this brand go in the future? Uh, to be honest, I want it to be like, I want it to be something big, like Off-White, Fear of God. You know, I want it to become like known. Basically be like a household name, like, like Supreme now. You know what I mean? Everybody, when you talk about Supreme, everybody know, know what it looked like. You know the red logo, the S, that's how I want it to be. I want people to know this logo, know the slash, the period, anytime you see it. So what would you say have been some of the challenges that have come out of starting your own brand at such a young age and also speak to who or, or what has helped you out of those tough moments? Um, most of the challenges for me is I'm starting this, I started this from scratch. Like, my mama don't do nothing, know nothing about fashion. I don't have no family members in fashion. So, like, that was the biggest challenge for me, like gaining that knowledge of the industry, gaining how, how to go about certain things, how to get stuff made, how to do stuff on your own. And that's that's been the biggest challenge. And then just like keeping your mental up, you know? It's easy to get, it's easy to get discouraged during this process because it's not it's not all glamour all the time it's times when you know your sales might get low it's times when you might not have no inspiration for the new thing you want to make and it's just you know always focusing on the positive you know just just then starting a brand for anybody that's a step that like a lot of people don't even take so it's like just keeping keeping your mind right, and then you ask me who who helped me is just really my the, my friends and my family that's been here from the start. You know the same people who started with me, the same people I'm doing this stuff with now. And it's always support, it's always love. I love bringing new designs to people, and you know they telling me it's hard, they love it and all that like. That's the that's the brightest part of my day. You know, somebody looking at my work and, you know, having the same joy I have when I put that out all the time. So do you have any other, I guess, interests or fields you would like to, to break into or try to, you know, uh, stretch Tommy Khan into to other industries? Um, definitely with the photography, videography. Um, 1400 Studios, that's my way of sort of breaking into that. And I really just wanted to expand everywhere, you know, have, shoot, Tommy Khan Magazine, Tommy Khan Sports, Tommy Khan this, Tommy Khan that, everything, anything I can, anything I can get my hands on, you know, I can do it, I'll try anything. Well, this has been Dixon Rivers, everybody, from... Tommy Khan, 1400 Studios, signing up.